Boy, is it a really good time to be a Hogwarts Legacy fan right now because we have brand new information, a brand new cinematic that gives us a little bit more insight about what we can expect from the game. Plus, we get some really good, interesting stuff that we didn't know that was going to be in the game that's actually going to be in the game. So with that being said, guys, let me introduce you to the cutscene. So as you guys may already know, within the state of play, there was this particular cutscene that we see two characters going and hugging the wall and looking at a door that actually shuts. Well, now we get a little bit more of an insight on this particular cutscene because within the Autodesk presentation today, they showed this particular cutscene, but with an extended version. So let me go ahead and play you the cutscene and then we're gonna come back and dissect every little thing that we can learn from this particular cutscene. Plus we're also gonna go over different images that we got from different characters and character customization from within the presentation. So sit back, relax, and let's watch this cutscene. Yeah, we're straight in the face. No. Hi, Wang. Do you know that hippogriff? Get these things back. Very well. New plan. I get the evidence, and you free that hippogriff. Agreed. This is our chance. Go. Blast it! There's got to be another way to get up to the roof. So I right, so tell me if that didn't really get you pumped for the game. Now, with that being said, guys, let's take a look at the trailer, and we're going to be noticing a couple things. The first thing we noticed that from the previous trailers, they went ahead and changed the character. One other thing that we're able to pick up from the particular trailer or for the particular cutscene is that we hear that the voice dialect is a little bit different from the trailer. In addition to that, we notice that there are multiple voices being heard here. So that gives me the impression that we are going to be allowed to create our characters. In addition to that, it's going to give us the option to give our characters different voices as to how many voices we'll be able to pick from within the characters. We currently don't know, but it does give us an insight that there is going to be that particular option. Now, with that being said, guys, let's take a closer look at the cutscene. One of the things we notice here is that they're trying to tame a hippogriff. They're trying to get him inside the doors. Now, for those of you who don't know, hippogriffs are half horse, half eagle creatures who are extremely powerful and are extremely dangerous. Now, one thing we know due to the Harry Potter movie is the fact that hippogriffs are very hard to tame. And that's what we see in this cutscene, that they are struggling to actually tame this particular hippogriff. And it's taking them a while to actually get them within the doors. Now, as we progress to the cutscene, you notice that the character goes inside the door, but one character is left out. When the character is left out, he says that there has to be a different way to actually get into the castle. And you kind of see the screen pan to the right. Now, we freeze this particular image. You're going to notice that on the right side, there is different areas that you could probably traverse to. Now, as to how we're going to be able to traverse this, we don't know. We don't know if a climbing feature is going to be implemented or a jump feature is going to be implemented. Or we're going to be able to move some sort of items with some sort of magic. But as of right now, my gut is telling me that we're going to be able to climb this particular ledges to be able to get into the game, which is something we didn't know was in the game, which is pretty much climbing and traversing in the game. All right, so now that we saw the cutscene, let's take a look at a couple images that we also got from the presentation. One of the most interesting images is this one, which is pretty much giving you the character customization feature, allowing you to pick different presets that are currently available in the game for the character that you decide to go with. As you guys noticed, there is a total of 10 different characters that you're able to choose all with different hairstyles, all with different clothes, and all with different looks as far as female and male. So this kind of gives us a rough idea of all the type of character customizations we can have implemented in the game. The next interesting image that we got was actually from this particular character that we see within the state of play. Currently right now, we didn't know who this character was. We didn't have too much information on him, but now we actually get his name and we also get a little bit more information onto which particular house he belongs to. So his name is Professor Abraham Ronin, and he belongs to the Slytherin. As you guys may notice on the bottom left-hand side, you will notice the symbol of a particular house. Now, if you guys want to know what the houses represent and which house will be better for your playstyle, make sure you guys watch this video that's appearing right now on the screen and also will be linked in the annotation. Another interesting thing that we're able to note from this particular image is that there will be some sort of transmog feature. Now, when I say transmog feature is that each individual item from the character has different sets and you could apply different items for that particular set. For example, there is an item called outfit. So if you want a specific outfit, you'll be able to apply the complete outfit to your character. But if you wanted to change the hat, if you wanted to change the upper armor, the lower armor, the socks, the shoes, the robe, the scarf, the ring, the gloves, the mask, and the glasses, you're gonna be able to change that individually, which makes it really cool because that means that not everybody's gonna look the same when the game comes out. And it's something that has me really excited about the game. Now, speaking about excitement, guys, you're definitely gonna wanna make sure you know 
what class to pick or what type of wand customization might be implemented in the game. So you're definitely going to want to check out these videos that are popping up right now on the screen so you guys can get a little bit more information on those particular subjects. In addition to that, guys, I want to say thank you for everybody who has decided to join the Bolt Nation. You can join the Bolt Nation by clicking that join button down below. Thank you very much, guys. I appreciate the love and support. Thank you, everybody, who's watching the videos. If you guys enjoy our Hogwarts Legacy content, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, turn on all your notifications so you guys won't miss when our videos go live. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.